the brain is the center of extraordinary abilities but humans neither know it fully nor are able to use it to the fullest pandit shri ram sharma acharya book title manavaya mastishk vilakshan computer human brain a unique computer do we understand our brain and its functioning made up of trillions of neurons that communicate in quadrillions of connections the human brain is one of the body's most complex and fascinating organs the brain can be divided into two parts one in which the mind and intellect work with the ability to think reason analyze and decide this category is known as the conscious mind the second part is that in which habits are stored and the activities of the body are directed from the blood flows through our veins the heart beats the lungs breathe the muscles contract and expand the eyes blink and sleep wake sequence continues eating drinking defecation happens and everything works on its own unique way behind the visible body functioning a force known as the subconscious mind works although the conscious mind falls asleep at night may become unconscious through drugs or intoxication or may suffer from diseases the subconscious mind is always alert and awake it is 1 million times more powerful than the conscious mind it does not question or resonate and takes everything literally whatever the conscious mind tells it is built on habituation it records everything and controls 95% of our lives what are the experts views on this powerhouse within ourselves the mind does a lot on its own but very few can can control and use it wisely scientists say that it has been possible for a progressive person to achieve only 8% control over brain consciousness 92% of its power is still unknown hence far from controlling yet according to physiologist earlier in the 20th century this brain was supposed to be limited to the information of general sensory knowledge still now the experts of neurology parapsychology and metaphysics have started accepting that the human mind is a part of the vast universal mind and is capable of getting the sensations of what is happening in the vast universe or is going to happen in the near future even the world's most extensive library is nothing in comparison to the amount of knowledge that resides in the human brain according to ancient scriptures the power of the brain is in no way less than the atomic power in fact much more potent within the power of the mind all the powers of law money desire and liberation exist has been highlighted as the crux in vedas what are we doing with this mighty brain power despite having such a powerhouse within or on which our presence and future is dependent we pay little to no attention towards making any use of it only a handful of people are able to reap full benefits out of it why lack of knowledge it is such an irony that strenuous efforts are made for sense gratification but the worth of having mental excellence is not realized joy is not realized and mental distress and calamities are invited two main reasons causing the weakening of the mental power are suffocation and fear due to suffocation there is panic and re- reaction to situations a person remains so afraid of situations that he or she keeps burning within both of these cause mental imbalance the suffocation arising in mind produces distortions and emotional diseases those diseases do not have separate symptoms but they erupt in the form of physical diseases what is the root cause of the world's chaos and misery 
despite having a powerhouse within each human. In the olden times, with lesser economic development and riches, people used to live a simple life without or minimal effects of discontentment, competition, comparison, lust, anger, greed, pride, malice, or unruly expectations, keeping a balance between happiness, honesty, and fearlessness in mind. Purified intellects, pure minds, sinless hearts, and selfless service were in abundance. Emotions were handled and controlled wisely. There weren't any mental illnesses, but today the world is full of economic riches with mountains of ambitions and heaps of desires, but alas, the loss of direction. Unruly intellect is driving people crazy. Without the synergy of ability, means, efforts, and circumstance, any ambition or desire will cause a mental disturbance. We don't understand that. As stated earlier, the subconscious mind is protected by the conscious mind. The conscious mind serves as a watchman at the gate. One of its most crucial function is to save the subconscious mind from false impressions. But if our intellect fails to direct our conscious mind and in return it fails to safeguard our subconscious mind, it will lead us into a state of complete chaos and disaster. How to direct intellect on the righteous path? How to save the subconscious mind? How to protect ourselves from misery? Can every human being become extraordinary utilizing this brain power? Are ambitions bad? What are the easy to adapt methods to start realizing this brain power in day to day life? Answers to all the above questions and many more are in this book. Under the series of books on mental abilities, the author has come out with another book consisting of age old wisdom beat with modern nuances in a layman's language and has made available a plethora of ancient secrets for everyone. This book will give the reader a much deeper understanding of this powerhouse within ourselves and its way of working and will guide us on how to make the best use of it to make a meaningful, rewarding, peaceful and successful life. Some excerpts from the book. The human body itself is a wonderful and unique creation of God. Far from being able to make a capable, fine-tuned and self-powered machine like the human body, it has not been possible to understand its structure yet, the controlling center of this amazing and wonderful device in the brain. The composition of this brain is more complex and unique than the human body. The knowledge of the powers and capabilities of the brain that our Indian sages had acquired thousands of years ago without any instruments is now demonstrated by science that is biology. This tells us that our yoga sadhanas, chanting and meditation systems are not wastage of time but a systematic and scientific method of knowing the reality of the world. So what are the proper criteria of ambition? The reasonable ones are creative and useful. Creation means utility only. If you want to become big, then you should spend your strength and power in good deeds, in virtuous tendencies. If you want to earn, then it is easier and more valuable to become virtuous, benevolent and service-oriented than to become wealthy by adopting all the good and bad ways. The praise and fame gained through this path stay longer and forever. Buddha, Mahavira, Gandhi, Nehru, Lincoln, Washington, Lenin, Patel, etc. All great human beings have chosen this path and every aspirant should do it. American psychiatrist Robert D. Roy has written after a detailed survey that psychosis is also a major reason in causing cancer, heart disease and tuberculosis. Still, there are many people who suffer from mental disorders. 
Out of these, only one third come for treatment, two thirds do not even understand their conditions, and in such a chaotic situation, find themselves suffering and keep causing sufferings to others. Jean Minol wrote in his book, The Philosophy of Long Life, a huge cause of early death is fear of death. People are afraid of death with the onset of old age or with the emergence of sporadic diseases. And that fear penetrates into the outer layers of their brain to such an extent that it becomes difficult to live long. The fe that fear is the biggest disease that brings death relatively sooner. If you keep a positive outlook, you will definitely see good elements. There is some good in bad people too. By utilizing those positive qualities, people can become skilled organizers and great human beings. But if we keep looking around with a negative outlook, we will neither see hope nor light. Wherever there is goodness, pleasant situations can be created by enhancing goodness. If one keeps worrying about evil, then whatever little possibility exists, it will go away. Some topics covered in the book. Brain, much more miraculous than body. Brain, a magical box. Neither suffocate nor be afraid. This is how abilities are destroyed. Do not disrespect yourself. The disease is mental, not physical. Maintain a mental balance.